to do for the next week? What are we doing? Working hard. And working hard to get out the vote. Yes, so that we can take back our country and take back California. The West Contra Costa County United Democratic Campaign Headquarters held a Get Out the Vote rally in El Cerrito on Sunday. The guest of honor was Karen Bass, Speaker of the California State Assembly. Speaker Bass is the first African American woman in the country to hold the position. We're nine days away from changing the world. Isn't that something? I tell you, it is my honor to stand before you today, to stand before so many progressive activists, people who understand what change is. Isn't it amazing? Last year, nobody knew what a community organizer was. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Palin still doesn't know what a community organizer yeah. The event gathered together volunteers, residents, and elected officials to celebrate their work on local and national Democratic campaigns. Thank you so much to everybody who has walked through these doors after the last several months and have run the greatest United Campaign Headquarters that we've had in a long, long time out here in West County. People have come to this headquarters and people have been working out of their homes and they've been meeting in other offices all across Contra Costa County. I was just in Las Vegas campaigning for House candidates and for Barack Obama, and people in California have changed Nevada. Throughout the event, speakers reminded the crowd their efforts should only continue to increase as Election Day draws closer. We also know that to get this done, these next nine days we must work like we haven't even started yet. Because when we look at the polls, it's all moving around, it's all moving in our favor, and it's very exciting. It simply is not done. We have several seats in the State Assembly that we never even thought we would be able to take back. We're very, very excited about the potential for us to take some seats, but our job over these next few days is to get people to translate that excitement on the top of the ticket all the way down the ticket and make sure they vote blue all the way down the ticket. Besides heavily contested seats, speakers turned the conversation to education, an important issue for the cash-strapped West Contra Costa Unified School District. Our children are our most important resource. Those of us who grew up in California like me, we know we lived in a state that had the best education in the country, the highest per pupil funding, right? Look what we've done now. Where are we now? We're at the level of Mississippi. We're not 27, we're 49. We're at the level of Mississippi, we should be embarrassed. All embarrassed. So you gotta vote for Measure D. We gotta take care of our children here in West Contra Costa Unified. Measure D would continue the current tax that we all pay for our schools. You know, at the city level, at the county level, at the state level, everything we do to improve our community isn't gonna be successful if we don't have schools that are properly uh, that get the proper amount of revenues and the proper resources, right? And Measure D, if it loses, there would be a huge hole in the school district budget. This is such an important measure, you need to be out there calling on it. So you being here when you're calling for Obama, when you're calling on other candidates, please also call for Measure D. The headquarters is still in need of volunteers for voter assistance, poll checkers, and phone banks. I hope that every one of you will walk and phone, be here at this UDC. These are the last eight days as though our lives depended on it, because our lives do. Nigel Eaton, El Cerrito Focus.